How do you win more games in World of Chell? You could go into training mode and slave away for hours trying to score more and more goals. Maybe you just want to find some better teammates to carry you further and further up the rankings. But today, I'm going to show you a build that can help you guys win more games in World of Chell. And who better to model it after than the current best player in the National Hockey League? In the past, I've mainly used the eye test, what I know about these players and their in-game stats to make these builds, but today, not only are we using their in-game stats, but we're using their real-life stats and their real-life advanced stats to help make the most accurate Connor McDavid build there is. There are two versions of this build. This is version number one. It's a center and a wing version. We're gonna start with the center as McDavid does play, but you can also run it at wing. As with most of these builds that I make, you just have to change the face-offs and the deking. We'll get into that in a second. First, let's talk about what is most important on this build. Obviously, it's speed. As a McDavid build, you want the ability to pick up the puck, receive a pass, and skate by every single player on the ice and go score a game-winning goal as McDavid does in real life. So we're jacking up maxed out speed, maxed out acceleration. Move my head. We also got a lot of agility here. And I'm not going to go through every single attribute just because I don't think they're as important as the abilities. We're going to spend a little bit more time on the abilities, but I also have a lot of offensive awareness. This is a highly underrated ability if you ever play an opponent and you poke check them and they pick the puck up right away you stick lift them they pick up the puck right away it's because they have offensive awareness cranked to the max offensive awareness helps you pick the puck up after you've been poked or knocked off the puck it also helps receive passes in motion along with just picking the puck up in the offensive zone and defensive zone so please please use offensive awareness more on these builds than you have in the past. Obviously, after McDavid had 100 assists, I had to have a pretty good passing rating. That's at 93. We're going pretty far down on defensive awareness and body checking just to up stick checking. McDavid is always a top player in takeaways, and that is mainly due to his ability to get up in your face with speed and be annoying with his stick checking. I trust you guys can copy the rest of this stuff down. I'm not gonna go through every single little nook and cranny of this build and tell you how to adjust every single stat. I did promise you guys I'd show you two versions. This is the wing version. The only difference is that I brought the deking up and the faceoffs down and the discipline up a little bit. The wing version really is insane 92 deking 98 offensive awareness 93 passing 95 speed 95 excel 92 agility this is a complete offensive menace and it will win you more games but it's time to dive into the most interesting and important part of these builds which is the abilities Connor McDavid's abilities in game are absolutely stacked. The problem is we cannot run gold wheels. A couple of these I don't think are too accurate. So I'm going to be changing a couple things using advanced statistics to prove why I'm changing them. First though, let's talk about your gold ability because you don't have very many options here. Tape to tape works really well. Third eye can work really well, but I'm using puck on a string personally. You can use the abilities I just talked about, but we do have 93 passing. So it's a little bit overkill. Puck on a string, however, However, makes us a lot more dangerous in close forehand backhand goes in every single time as long as you time it right next we're gonna put on a shooting ability and in game Connor McDavid has make it snappy I don't really like this however and I'm gonna explain to you why Connor McDavid uses his speed anticipation and high level dangling skills to give him high danger shots at a clip no other person in the league sees. Last season, the league average for forwards was 32 shots in high danger areas. Connor McDavid had 82. Six goals, Connor McDavid had 20. 70% shooting, Connor McDavid shot 24. If we go up to his shot speed, you can see he's below 50th percentile in basically everything. His shot is not fast by any measure. However, he does get into these highly, highly dangerous scoring areas and he is automatic. He is super accurate and for that reason, instead of giving him make it snappy, I'm putting on close quarters. As far as this last ability slot, you really do have quite a few options here. He also has ankle breaker, 
tape to tape and magnetic on his player in game. I use ankle breaker in the gameplay, but this is Connor McDavid we're talking about. You've for sure seen some type of highlight of him doing some crazy behind the back pass. You could use third eye for that. As I said earlier, he gets a ton, a ton of takeaways every year. You could use stick him up if you want to. A clip that always comes to mind is that tweener against Dallas. You could put it's tricky on if you're feeling crazy. He's automatic on breakaways all alone. Go for it. You really can put a lot of abilities on him and it'll work. But for the gameplay and to keep it as realistic as possible to the build he has in the actual game, I'm going to be putting on ankle breaker, but just know you can run a lot of things right here. This is the build, but I'm not done yet. I wanted to hop in some games. If you're not sure about it, watch the gameplay. See if you like it. Try it for yourself. And if you do try it for yourself, please, please go down and hit that sub button. It means a lot to me. And in this gameplay, I do beat up on Eric for a little bit. Okay, he makes a couple dumb mistakes, but go show some love to Rick in the comments, guys. They own the evil. Oh! Oh! Shit! I'm not going cap. Good recovery, Rick. Good rotation. Don't call. Rick, you might be dumb as shit, bro. You might be the stupidest person ever. What was that? <laughs> You're still stupid. <laughs> you are still stupid. Uh oh. Rick, that was the worst angle I've ever seen! Yeah, yeah I, I, let, I let off the, the gas. The I, I learned how to do an ollie. Rick, what the yeah. hell? <laughs> I dropped my controller, bro. What the f- No, that's alright. That's all. We still good. We still- I have never seen this sort of defense before in my life. Oh. What the hell is this? What are you poke checking? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's good. Ah, <laughs> one man, all alone. Good. Come on, come on. Rebound. That's a pass. Drop pass. Let's go. Oh, no. Is that five points? All I just wanted to say to you all: have a good night, have a good sleep, dream big, dream safe, and guys, remember you are loved by God. Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow. No OT tonight. Get the ball to seventeen. Go stretch him out. That's I penetrate. Finish inside. Pregnant. Bitch. Drop pass. It's three on one. Wait. Back up. Back up. Back up a little bit. <laughs> Wait, dude. You need... Come on. Come on. That's all we need. We just need one. We just need on. one. Oh, I was gonna come. I was coming. That's it. Those are the highlights. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the build, what kind of build you want to see next? Drop a specific player down in the comments. I promise I will get to it eventually. And without further ado, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.